In physical cosmology, cosmological perturbation theory is the theory by which the evolution of structure is understood in the Big Bang model. It uses general relativity to compute the gravitational forces causing small perturbations to grow and eventually seed the formation of stars, quasars, galaxies and clusters. It only applies to situations in which the universe is predominantly homogeneous, such as during cosmic inflation and large parts of the Big Bang. The universe is believed to still be homogeneous enough that the theory is a good approximation on the largest scales, but on smaller scales more involved techniques, such as n-body simulations, must be used. Because of the gauge invariance of general relativity, the correct formulation of cosmological perturbation theory is subtle. There are currently two distinct approaches to perturbation theory in classical general relativity. Gauge invariant perturbation theory based on foliating a space-time with hypersurfaces, and 1 plus 3 covariant gauge invariant perturbation theory based on threading a space-time with frames. <laughs> gauge invariant perturbation theory The gauge invariant perturbation theory is based on developments by Bardeen 1980, Kadama and Sasaki 1984, building on the work of Lifshitz 1946. This is the standard approach to perturbation theory of general relativity for cosmology. This approach is widely used for the computation of anisotropies in the cosmic microwave background radiation as part of the physical cosmology program and focuses on predictions arising from linearizations that preserve gauge invariance with respect to friedman lemaitre robertson walker models. This approach draws heavily on the use of Newtonian-like analog and usually has as its starting point the FRW background around which perturbations are developed. The approach is non-local and coordinate-dependent but gauge-invariant as the resulting linear framework is built from a specified family of background hypersurfaces which are linked by gauge-preserving mappings to foliate the space-time. Although intuitive this approach does not deal well with the nonlinearities natural to general relativity. <laughs> 1 plus 3 covariant gauge invariant perturbation theory In relativistic cosmology using the Lagrangian threading dynamics of Ehlers 1971 and Ellis 1971, it is usual to use the gauge-invariant covariant perturbation theory developed by Hawking 1966 and Ellis and Bruni 1989. Here rather than starting with a background and perturbing away from that background one starts with full general relativity and systematically reduces the theory down to one that is linear around a particular background. The approach is local and both covariant as well as gauge invariant but can be non-linear because the approach is built around the local comoving observer frame, C -frame bundle, which is used to thread the entire space-time. This approach to perturbation theory produces differential equations that are of just the right order needed to describe the true physical degrees of freedom and as such no non-physical gauge modes exist. It is usual to express the theory in a coordinate-free manner. For applications of kinetic theory, because one is required to use the full tangent bundle, it becomes convenient to use the tetrad formulation of relativistic cosmology. The application of this approach to the computation of anisotropies in cosmic microwave background radiation requires the linearization of the full relativistic kinetic theory developed by Thorne 1980 and Ellis, Matravers and Tresciokas <laughs> Gauge freedom and frame fixing 
In relativistic cosmology there is a freedom associated with the choice of threading frame, this frame choice is distinct from choice associated with coordinates. Picking this frame is equivalent to fixing the choice of timelike world lines mapped into each other, this reduces the gauge freedom it does not fix the gauge but the theory remains gauge invariant under the remaining gauge freedoms. In order to fix the gauge a specification of correspondences between the time surfaces in the real universe perturbed and the background universe are required along with the correspondences between points on the initial spacelike surfaces in the background and in the real universe. This is the link between the gauge invariant perturbation theory and the gauge invariant covariant perturbation theory. Gauge invariance is only guaranteed if the choice of frame coincides exactly with that of the background, usually this is trivial to ensure because physical frames have this property. <laughs> Newtonian-like equations Newtonian-like equations emerge from perturbative general relativity with the choice of the Newtonian gauge. The Newtonian gauge provides the direct link between the variables typically used in the gauge invariant perturbation theory and those arising from the more general gauge invariant covariant perturbation theory. Topic: See also Primordial fluctuations <laughs>